after the ball is over, after the skein is done, after the die lots finished, and you are short just one. Many a knitter has made a tearful and desperate call, pleading with their local yarn shop, go after that ball. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Pen, Hook, and Needles podcast, episode 586. You're going to get two 586s from me because I'm trying to get this back on schedule and Ty is being stubborn about not changing it. So I have, if you notice in the PHN threads, it'll say 585A, I think, for the last one. And then this will be 586. So anyway, welcome to the Pen Hookiness Podcast, episode 586. It is Wednesday, January 24th, 2024, as we are recording. I am Marlisha, also known as Lady Fernico. I'm Talia, also known as Franciscan Gypsy. We want to welcome all new and returning viewers to the Fun in the Woman Cave. If you're new, we're glad that you found us. We hope that you see something you like and that you will keep returning. If you are returning, we are always glad to have you back. And we, um, if you are new or returning and you are in the shadows, but you'd like to become more involved or more official, then please feel free to press the little subscribe button on your right, the little red button, and the little bell, which can give you notifications. If you tap the bell, you'll get a drop-down menu. It'll say, I want to get all notifications, some notifications, or none. And you can choose. If you want to be really official, uh, and you want to take part in the alongs and things, then you need to go to our PHN home group, and the link is in the description box below the video. It's phnpodcast.freeforms.net. And you just ask that you want to come in and we'll let you in okay because we don't want to have any bots we want people okay mm -hmm. <laughs> um let's see okay that takes care of that um now we both have five but you have an fo so yes so you go first because i don't have any journal or anything to balance that out okay um in my and oh, thanks for all the nice comments about my journaling, by the way. Yeah, and the happy birthday wishes. Yes, thank you. Um, in my Adagio for, um, Owl and Forest Creature mugs, it's um, I've got oh, I put the tea up there. I think it's called Mum Bee's Snazzy Chocolate Tea. I think that's what it's I called. Think that's what he told it's me. a fandom blend by a friend of mine, and I really like it. So it now has this dedicated tin. It is a kind of chocolate and cinnamon and all that kind of neat stuff. It's really good. Okay, so hold on, I need to mark off this row because it looks Sorry like I forgot to mark it off. Um, in the mug, only mug I felt like y using recently because I'm <laughs> that I just do. You know when you just like, oh, I got the sugar and the you know amount just mm. right for this mug. This one's slightly bigger than my other ones of about the same size. It's not like here, wow, there we go. It's not as big as my big big mugs. Or like the big mug. <laughs> Crystal's mug. <laughs> yes. That's a great mug. Yes, it is. But it's not as big as those, but it's not um, as small as like what's the normal. I think it's a, it's called a 16 ounce normally, but. That's think, not 16 ounces. Well, I think they call, wait, what do they call them? They call them 14 ounces, mm -hmm. I think. This isn't a 14 ounce. This is between a 14 and it, this is a 15, 15 probably. Mm -hmm. Because it's just a little bit more than what I get with the other one. I'm sorry, guys. Let me. What move. are you? Do What's it doing over it's, there? It's just notifying me. So in this mug, I have my uh, purple tea. I get this from um, not tea spot. Oh, uh, I don't have it. I cut it out of its thing. It's the um, whistling kettle. Thank. You. Oh, yeah. Here it is up the top. The, I get it from the whistling kettle. This is in a tin that I bought from a long time ago from Plum Deluxe. And it says on there, where there is tea, there is hope. And then it has like all these teacup type things. But, um, yeah, it's a whistling kettle tea. Because mm. Plum Lux used to carry purple tea, but it was a limited time one. I'm not sure if it was just one that he got at some sort of convention or something. But once it was out, it was out. And I fall in love with the tea. I was drinking it like all the time. 
So I've been looking for this tea for a while and Whistling Kettle had it. Um, all right. Um, I got all the addresses now from everybody who won. Thank you for participating. Thank you. Uh, congratulations to the winners. I have all the addresses. They're all sitting at my door until such time as I can get to the post office. Yeah, um, we had snow and people were sick. Yeah. And I, I appreciate your patience. I've had a couple of people say, don't worry about it. We know you were sick. We know you have celebrations. So I appreciate that. Thank you. So I have to go out to the post office to do that. I could probably have them pick it up. But um, that's something you it, just prefer? It, well, it's right now it's too much um, effort. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I, have, I have to plan Ty's birthday meal. Her birthday was the 19th. But because of sickness, we went ahead and pushed it back. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, she, she got her gifts and stuff, but we, we're going to do the cake and the... Yeah, and it was absolutely a uh, part of my suggestion. I suggested it, gosh, before... Well, I, I, well no, yeah. I, I suggested it before... Um, I suggested it to Dad by, by himself before you mentioned it. Mm -hmm. And Dad was like, no, 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 I'll be fine. He hadn't yet gotten fully sick. <laughs> I told him it wasn't going to be fine. Um, and in my head, I was like... Oh, I know I suggested it was before he got sick. Davina was still kind of sick. She was starting to get better. But the snow. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, you know, you guys are talking about not going out and stuff. We don't really have a chicken. I'm not going to call someone, you know, have them deliver a chicken when we won't even leave I the house. I had a chicken. I didn't know we did. Um, but I was, at that point, I was thinking of it because of the snow. And then later on when Dad got sick, you brought it up again. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. And so what we're probably going to do is, if I push my birthday back, like, we were considering to do it would be the week before Lent begins that weekend it's just not worth it we're gonna have the cake be a joint cake and I'm not sure what we're gonna do about the meal maybe I don't care if we don't do anything it'll be fine um, but my husband will take me out you know so that'll be that'll be good um, I'm not sure how I, why I started talking about that I think because oh about the packages uh, let's see here I will try to be as coherent as possible, but I'm very tired. But we do have a Thursday where we'll be able to cook something. So we'll look through as well, you know, see if there's any new recipes that interest you. See if there's any old recipes that interest you. Because we haven't yet cho chosen our one more meal that mom says we need to make. Because we have a quiche in the freezer still, and we need to heat that up. Mm -hmm. And then we have my birthday meal, and you said that we need one more. I think we need one more. Um, and I printed out, uh, my January recipes came in for five dinners, one hour. So those are always the best recipes around this time period for them. Well, September through March. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, I snagged a bunch of recipes and I printed a bunch of them. So we had to look through and see. We found, um, I don't think I printed them, the fried apples. I, we do, I do have the recipe. And then um, there are these nice little apple pie cupcake things mm -hmm. that if mom ever wanted something um and then if there are any left over this would make a really good little breakfast mm -hmm. okay um going on to the alongs as i said all the 2024 alongs are finished the prizes are waiting to go out the door and we're very grateful to everybody who participated that was mm -hmm. fun uh right now we have the anything goes mal the make along and this is the all year long one. And for this year, you get a break because just like the title says, anything goes. It's not the movie. It's not It's, mm -hmm. it's not the song. It's whatever you want to make within the parameters. It has to be knit, loom knit, crocheted, paper crafts, or weaving. Okay? And uh, the featured yarns and featured patterns are all the same as always. Uh, anything by Lady Fertico Creations. Anything by Franciscan Gypsy Designs. And anything by Lollipop Girl creations, yarns, whatever Laura's thing mm -hmm. is. Um, you know, th those are all featured. Eventually, we will put some paper craft type things in there for featured patterns. Probably Soto Studios, maybe Taperology, we'll see. Um, just so that you have something that, if you're doing paper crafts, you can have a, a way of getting your yeah. extra. Um, and the ways of getting multiple chances for your postings are in the threads. Um, we have about a week. What's today? The 27th? No, the 24th, right? Uh, yeah, it's 24th. Um, 24th, yeah. We have exactly a week to frog things and have it count. Okay? So if you want to frog something, you put the picture of the thing as it is before you frog it, and then next to it, a picture of the frogged 
yarn so we can see it and you can get a, a chance for a prize for that and then if you want to use that yarn for something else then you put that yarn next to your startup and we can give you a chance for that so you have multiple chances just for frogging something and restarting with it yeah okay sorry i got a notification someone bell uh, bought uh a tilly the spanish spaniel pattern what i got a notification from etsy someone brought, bought oh, the tilly okay. pattern cool mm. I always like to see what different times of the year is what people pick up. I usually sell cows pretty well around this time period. Mm -hmm. And when we were heading to Christmas, I was selling the Christmas stocking and the Christmas ornament patterns more. Right. Those will probably ease up. Okay, the hashtag is hashtag PH and anything goes on Instagram. Okay, and the prizes for this will be quarterly with one prize that is an overall prize. Okay? And we used to try to make that a big prize, but it just got too much to ship, so it's mm -hmm. just an, another chance for someone to win. Yeah, because um, back when we did that, the shipping was quite a... Gosh, that was years ago, you know, so shipping has changed significantly. I was doing it up to about just be, just before the pandemic, I think, is mm -hmm. when I stopped doing the great big one, because it was just... It was too much um, to, to, to pay the shipping, much as I wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, I just It's just too expensive. For, for that big prize at the end of the year. So it's just a regular prize, but everybody from the very first one to the very gets last one gets set. an extra chance, okay? The Ready, get, the ready Set, Go, Make Along is also going right now, and that's January through March, okay? So the, the, la the last day of March is you go into April 1st. If you go into April 1st, we're finished, mm -hmm. okay? This is... Um, all the starts okay you cannot have any project in there that has been started prior to January 1st it, of this year it has to be January 1st 2024 or later the beginning date okay um, if not then it needs to be moved out into the other alongs okay because uh, this is where we begin all the things that's the whole reason we had the um, oh, what was it called can't think of it now. The one where we did everything, we, we got rid of everything. Got rid of everything? You mean the uh, frogging? No, no, no. But our last along where we everything came off the needles. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Frogging. No, no. The last along. Oh, in the finish along or whatever. Finish, yeah, uh, finishing all the things. I yeah. forget what it was called. I my, my mind is drawing blanks. I'm very tired. But anyway, that's why we have that. So you guys have needles until you can start for this yeah. one. Okay, hooks and needles. Um... Th something I forgot to mention, when you put things in, if they're small projects, it's easy to qualify small for, for the yarny things. If it's 50 yards or less, less please put in two, two projects together. A little more difficult to say with the paper. So if it's small, you know, please put more than one in there mm -hmm. uh, for, for a, uh, an entry for a, for a small project. Um, the hashtag is hashtag PHN Ready Set Go 2024 on Instagram. We have the same feature drawings and feature patterns as before. Um, it takes care of the alongs. Okay, so um, oh, before we go into projects, I did want to mention some. I figure someone's going to ask. Well, the shawl is, of course, uh, one of the um, uh, scrap shawls that Mom uh, crochets. But the one thing that I have a feeling people might ask about because I don't wear. Uh, I don't think I've ever worn it on the podcast. This is the mm. Advent. Um, Jones. Yeah, I forget what year it was. It was a couple years back. Um, I think it was the last year um, we did anything with Baker Bears. Yeah. It might have been because it was before I did all the stuff with the... Um, she didn't yet have the um, university yet. She didn't? I thought she did. No, I've had this for a few years. Okay. Um, I actually was kind of proud of this because I finished it on time, mm -hmm. which is, I it was it was a lot because I didn't keep up with the advent calendar the year before that. This one I watched all the advent calendars. Mm -hmm. I was still working, I think, um, and it's really pretty. Yeah, I really am happy with how it turned out. I always know if it's the right side up of my Christmas trees are <laughs> the greens at the bottom. There's my Christmas trees. It's kind of like green and blue. So yes, I am wearing a cow with a cow neck. Uh, shirt but you can't see that and this is the long enough cow that if i pull it a little bit you're not going to be able to see the cow underneath and also i'm wearing a, i happen to be wearing a sweater but this is if i don't want something over my head and i want more of coverage because this gives a nice neck coverage without feeling 
constricted. This is a really nice design that she had. Um, I wanted to try that, but I just knew it could. Well, it's fingering weight. Yeah. Well, I was. I just say it's a weight. Yeah. <laughs> never, um, that never stopped me. So it was for handbrake or fingering weight. I didn't do it. And that's weight. true. Um, but what was nice is you know I have all these different uh, yarn colors. I tried to kind of grade, and it might have been her suggestion too to kind of grade eight because I have all the greens here. Then I have a silver. I think this is your silver, mom. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where this gold comes from. It might also be yours. And then I have a pink, sparkly pink. This is K's. This other red, and I have sparkly red at the top. Mm, so yeah, three reds. Yes. It has, I have. Well, this is pink. Pink, yeah. Pink. Uh, so we have this one, this one, and then this one. Oh, you're right. I have three reds, a pink, gold, gold, uh, silver, and greens. Yeah, and there's there's also four greens. So. Uh, I kept it Christmassy, but I feel figured that if I really wanted to, I could wear this all year. Um, but yeah, it's comfy. Oh, this is good. There we go. If I really wanted to, I could probably wear it over my head, too. It's long enough. I'm going to have to write Twilight Taylor. It's helping me to feel better. <laughs> That's good. So, yeah, I just wanted to show that because I figured someone was going to ask. And I'm so bad about... Uh, I know that even for book two, which I have a lot fewer people commenting because not as many people watch... I am up to, I think last I looked, I'm up to 102 people for book Yay. two. I got 100 right before my birthday. Yay. But um, I don't have nearly as many comments to field. And I have one, one person who I still haven't answered from the last video. So I know that I've been kind of out of it then. If I had, And his was just like, good video or something like that. So um, I don't know if I've said it was uh, the hashtag for that last along was... Uh, Hashtag PHN Race Hit Go 2024 on Instagram. I think you did, but yeah. Um, also, usually I do try to keep up. This past week has been a little bit harder, but uh, if you have any questions and you aren't hearing from us on um, either YouTube or on the PHN Home, easiest way to reach me at least is if you go on the PHN Instagram, and that information's down below. I have mom's Instagram, my Instagram, and the PHN Instagram. But if you message via the PHN Instagram, that's probably the easiest way to get an answer from me. Because I'm usually on there at least once a day to check the booktube one. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I appreciate the people who took the time to tag me in the PHN group to let me know that there was a message in the private message. Mm -hmm. I did get the messages. I have been in touch with them. So I appreciate that very much. That reminds me. If you are going to post things like even though you're not taking part in the longs but you kind of want to feel like you are you know because maybe you don't want to join phn home for whatever reason but you kind of want to feel like you're taking part in, in them and you want to do the instagram tag you can do one step farther than the instagram tag tag the phn instagram because then i can see it because mm -hmm. i'll get tag, i'll get notified and then i can like it mm -hmm. so if you want some a little bit of instagram love for your PHN project or really any PHN your project you feel like you want PHN to see um yeah tag the PHN Instagram and you'll at least get a heart no, fl so. no flowers just hearts just thought I'd add that because the PHN Instagram is still quite new um I'm not very consistent about posting on it but I am consistent about answering people and I, I don't really do a whole lot my Instagram is active simply, simply because of Outfy, um, which is my um, shop. I let Outfy die out for me, so I have Francis and Gypsy Designs is completely dead. <laughs> the I, Instagram. That's, that's the only way, and I don't, I don't do my personal. Unless somebody tags me, I don't do my personal Instagram. I'm just not a, as I've told people before, the, it's not good for my mental health to be on there mm -hmm. too long. I just don't, I, I don't need to be worried about how many people like my mm -hmm. project or how many people don't like my project or what they're saying about this, that, or the other thing. I just don't need it. My main Instagram that I consistently use is my booktube one. Mm -hmm. And I follow a lot of uh, uh, books, um, book journalers. And so I get ideas from mm -hmm. them. I follow calligraphy people. Uh, I mean, I follow book people too. But my favorite ones that I kind of watch are my... Um, calligraphy my i have a couple illuminated manuscript people yeah i follow mostly journals i have a few i still have a few uh knit and crochet people that i follow i do follow them but i i have a lot of my religious stuff and i have mostly journaling and then i have a handful of really good 
knitting a crochet. You see, I have a very definite, like, for booktube, I am try I try to be very strict that, okay, I only follow mm -hmm. book-related things on my booktube one. Well, I only have a personal account mm -hmm. and a professional account, so I don't have, like, a book, an equivalent to a booktube or mm -hmm. equivalent. I don't have... Well, don't it's, it's like when you're personal and you're professional, booktube is a different entity, just like PHN is a different entity. So well, that's my point, And though. just like the shop's a different entity. I don't want to have mm -hmm. that many uh, accounts. Mm -hmm. two, is, two is plenty. Um, as it is, I don't do my personal account that much. I, I don't follow a lot of people on my professional, in quotes, account because I just don't. Uh, that's kind of professional uh, slash religion, my uh, yeah. HFI and all that, well, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I... I'm just not, I'm not online very much anymore. Mm -hmm. I try not to be, I mean, I, that's not completely true. I, I do waste some time, but I'm trying not to be online too much because first of all, I don't get a lot of things done when I'm online all the time. And I've noticed my mood really changes if I'm on there for too long. So mm -hmm. I prefer not to be there because I like to bring a little sunshine wherever I go. And sometimes it's too hard. You know, I, I just, the negativity is not for me. Mm -hmm. Um, it's your time turn to because you have the you have you get to go first. Well, let me just see where I'm at here first. Seven. Okay, all right. My first project is the one I'm currently working on, and this is in my um, Knitter's Magic. Start a local yarn store. Knitter Ma Magic uh, lavender flowers on a dark field bag. It's got a really pretty purple interior, and I'm using my Bare Necessities yarn in the bulky weight. This is my Welcome Little One project. I did a couple of rows the other day. I was going to sh <laughs> I started knitting this thinking, oh, I'll, I'll have a little more work started and realized that I had left it off so I could show it to him <laughs> without it being on the, um, in the middle of the row. But let me just, let me just do one more stitch so I can show you this a little bit better. So you can see. It is growing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm not sure how much. I'm about halfway through, maybe a little less than halfway through. And the thing is, if I just sit down and do it, it would go a lot faster. It's just that I. Well, I've, you're used to doing crochet ones, which basically you sit down, blink, mm -hmm. and they're done. Yeah. Uh, well, also, I haven't been doing it when I watch television because mm -hmm. I've been so tired. For well, the last few days, I've been able to do it while I'm watching TV. So. Which is nice. Which is nice. And it's not that I do a whole lot, but at least I get a little bit done. Well, it's a little bit that adds up. Mm -hmm. So that's, this is, as I said, my Bare Necessities yarn. It's bulky weight. And, uh, yeah, I, I, this should have been done like five years ago. But there you go. At least they're finally going to get something finished from me. <laughs> because I start things and I pull them out. I just, I'm not a real big blanket person with knitting because it just takes forever. And I'm not sure what the difference is between that and like a... Uh, a shawl because I'll do a shawl but you haven't done any really big knitted shawls big enough which one did you do I did the Lala's um, um, that's a pretty big shawl Lala's um, but it's not like a blanket big I gave you mine because it wasn't big enough for my yeah. liking I it doesn't I like the shawl but it doesn't stand my shoulders very mm -hmm. well I have to wear and also on those bulky yarn mm -hmm. with huge needles well this is bulky yarn with huge needles the needles are bigger than that no Aren't they? No, no. no. Um, but yeah, that shawl isn't what I would consider a big shawl. And then I did uh, Kay's, um, what's it called, sock knitter shawl? That's not a big shawl either. Um, I've knitted a few shawls, mm -hmm. but uh, they're not huge, but they're big enough. So they're not like your crochet shawl is big. Well, I just go and go and go with my crochet shawl. Yeah. I mean, I've, my my um, Miss Marshall sky blue pink shawl is huge. I haven't yeah. worn that one in a while. Mm -mm. The one I did for Laura is ginormous. Mm -hmm. but you also don't wear shawls the same. You need to keep one down here or something because you don't wear them with the frequency I do. And I think there's times where you want one, but you don't think of going and getting one. Well, I'm going to have to make, I want to make one, maybe a fun one. Mm -hmm. That's about in the house as, one. Uh, yeah, about as big as Laura's. That way daddy won't care if I'm wearing something silly. Mm -hmm. um, he does or if he carries it too bad and you're yeah. in the house. He, he, he is he is um backed off on not liking to have me wear it to church because it's been so cold mm -hmm. that you'll get your shawl so um but he gives me a hard time sometimes he says old lady shawl <laughs> i like shawls they're, they're they're comfortable if you have the right kind like like this one by anastasia 
where it sits on your shoulders properly, mm -hmm. you can wear it all the time. It's really, it's really nice. I just, I've been wearing my gray one that I that I made for this Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, I wore it with the silver. I wore it with black. I wore it the other day with red. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but that's not this project. So this is this is called the um, the on the porch blanket by um, Fifty Four Tent Studios. So. I guess it's then my turn, so I'll go with the one that I am currently working on. Now, I'm not sure if the question in the YouTube comments was concerning this project or a different project because um, All right, Christina. I was... Mm -hmm. Christina's. Yeah, I was asked about the courthouse steps pattern. Now, I have not worked on the one my buddy courthouse steps project in quite a while, but if you were talking about that one, that one's more of a recipe than a pattern. Mm -hmm. We found something that gave us a general idea of how much to increase stitches and how to work that all out. And then we just are kind of working off of a recipe. So that's not really a pattern. We just went and I can't remember where we got it from. It's a, Yeah, we have it somewhere. I think I have the pattern somewhere. Yeah, but we aren't really like we've gone off the reservation with that. We're not really working off of, it was for like a pillow or something. Yeah. Um, we just wanted the basic idea of how to do a courthouse steps. Um, so that's the answer for the one that's plain. If you were asking about this one, the log cabin love, um, you had multiple questions. You asked what the pattern was and you asked the what the weight was. Mm -hmm. So this pattern is log cabin love. Uh, this is a 10 hours or less pattern. It's actually a pattern for a baby blanket, although he does give you instructions of how to make it bigger, which is what I'm doing. George gives you instructions not only how to make it bigger, but how to use multiple weights. Now, for him, he has a tendency to have his patterns hold multiple mm -hmm. uh, yarns together. I chose not to do that. I'm using... Um, Actually, I don't know if it's this one he has multiple together. I know for the other one I'm working on A lot of him. them he, they, he does, and when he does that, if it's knitting, I will normally go up a size in the yarn or two sizes. Let me I'll double just, you know, check and see what the weight was that he required for this one. This one might I think have, it was worse than this one might it? have actually called for worse. I think it did. I think because I think this might have actually been a single one. I think it was one of the few that you said, "Oh wow, this is only using one yarn." Now I did go down a um, a needle size because he likes his stuff um, Very loose. looser than I do. I like a nice tight. Because mom, mom likes your stuff looser than I do. I just, um, I'm not bulletproof. Well, I like it like drapey. It, you see, I don't want it too drapey. I, um, I like it to feel like it's giving me a hug. I feel like it's giving me a hug, but it's a different kind of hug. Now, I don't mean like Davina's bulletproof. But <laughs> Davina's can stand up on its own two feet. Yeah, let's see. I'm almost at the beginning pattern. Okay. So... Come here. Turn. Is there another part of the pattern? So it says on there, here is the cover page for like a better term. It says log cabin love, baby blanket, knit in 10 hours. Include now. I've gone way past what they recommend, you know, for amount like I finished the amount of logs they would have had me finish a long time ago. And he's, I think, he could probably do it in 10 hours. I probably take 10 months, but uh, I love George. George's patterns are fabulous. If you want to try his patterns, he has many blankets, uh, Christina. It includes step by step instructions for making any size with any weight of yarn, but what he was using is he was using worsted weight and he used a ten and a half mm -hmm. i well he had a ten and a half and a nine i ended up using an eight and a six why do you need two sizes for that um you use the i'm trying to remember oh you pick up stitches with one size you pick up stitches with the smaller size that makes sense um, and then you knit with the bigger one. I can't tell you how many times I've picked up with a smaller size and then done like a row and been like, Ugh, and had to go in back and put the smaller size on the bigger needles. So, um, but yeah, so that's what the pattern is. I have taken some liberties with it. I'm making it quite a bit larger. I've always loved 
his patterns that have a heart mo motif on yes. it. Um, I think, though I didn't make this one, I made another one that I'm actually making again. I'm adjusting that pattern to make a bed uh, size blanket. But it was another baby blanket pattern. I actually gave the pa the finished blanket to a PHNer. Um, but it had a big heart in the center. And hearts are one of the things that you'll see it in my color work too. I tend to add hearts to my color work and in my patterns. Is this, is this something that I like? Mm -hmm. um, so uh, it's not surprising I gravitate toward this. Let me have your pen, please. Because I've never prepared. Thank you. You're welcome. But that's it for me. Okay, let me just go where I'm at here so I know what I'm doing. Okay, and I will put this away so I can get my next project out. So yeah, I hope that answers all your questions um, about whichever of the two you were asking, because I know this is technically a log cabin, and I'm still in the purple. The courthouse steps. Courthouse steps, excuse me, yeah. He called it log cabin. That's why I got confused again. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> oops, I better put this in there too. we are looking for it later on. This does have some nice pockets in it, this bag. Mm -hmm. The only thing I wish it had was a zipper. But for a knitting bag, it's not as important. No, but I do like to have zippers on my bags, mm -hmm. just because I have a tendency to drop things. It's a wonderfully made bag. It's a beautiful bag. If I ever used it for a purse or something, I'd definitely put a zipper on it. Mm -hmm. um, my next one is in my Silvershed USA extra large, large, I don't know, PHN 10 year potiversary bag by Anne from Silver Street USA. And this is my strawberry short cape blanket from the Surabell scarf pattern by Sarah Sweetheart. And I did some work on this. I'm finding that my psoriatic arthritis has been acting up. And when that happens, sometimes the tips of my finger get really dry. So when that happens, it pulls at the yarn. Mm -hmm. It's like, think sandpaper. Or do you remember when Spider-Man, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, was looking at the tips of his finger and he had like those little um, hooks, hook type things? It feels like that on the yarn. Mm -hmm. So um, it makes it a little difficult for me to work, especially with this yarn. Yeah, I imagine that Because it's so fuzzy. But we like trying to work out packet with that. Yeah, so it's, it's, it is growing. It's, I think this is pretty close to done, mm -hmm. um, I think. And um, it'll go in the... It'll either go into the the pregnancy center bin, or it will go into a friend. I've got many people at the church who are having babies, and so maybe it'll go to one of them. But I think this one might go into the pregnancy center. We'll see what happens. I uh, do want to get a move on. I think I will have at least one baby blanket on the hook and or needle at all times because um, our, our parish is pretty prolific <laughs> for lack of a better term and we do have a pregnancy center out here so it's always nice to have a backup of blankets so I don't have to rush to have a blanket for somebody mm. and it's a nice size project you know there's a lot to say about that okay so next one for me is in my actually I'm gonna grab this one while she's still in the shower this is in my pretty right. brown um, Knitter's Magic, Magic bag. That also is our local yarn star. Yes. And I have kitties playing with balls of yarn inside the fabric, in the inside fabric. This is the, what I call the Quicksilver sweater. It's Davina's cabled sweater. And... How much work did you do on that this time? I got the pockets. Mm -hmm. Um attach this pattern is not very well written yeah you were saying that um for one thing it's cramps for another thing there's points where they'll say work so many rows even and the way they have it written you're going to end on a right side row and then they have the next thing they tell you to do is increase row right side well you have to do a wrong side row in between mm. there so you're having to add things because they're not telling you stuff right um it's just not very well written the crampedness is very i can't I, see that I'm, would that would drive me nuts i consider myself you know a, 
maybe not better, but pretty close. I've I've made quite a few complex knitting patterns, and I don't usually get lost. I get lost in this. I find it just very poorly written, um, confusing. It's a beautiful sweater. I won't knit it again. Davina will love it. Um, so it's called the Hillcrest Coat. It's by um, Amy Miller. That's uh, uh, where did you get the pattern? I'm trying to see. From Lovecraft. I don't know where I got this pattern. I think it's a Lovecraft pattern because I could have had it for a while too. I oh, might okay. have just gone through my sweater um, pattern right. um, catalog because I had a general idea of what I wanted. I don't think I picked it up specifically for her. I think I had it for a while. I probably picked it up for me. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful sweater. It's a beautiful sweater. It has a shawl collar, has a zipper. Um, See, I like the way this feels. Oh, this yarn is gorgeous. And I'm working on this in this yarn for a blanket. And I've already determined if I don't want to finish a blanket, it's, it'll become a sweater. Mm -hmm. um, Same color? It's red. It's that um, heathered red. Nice. It's a beautiful color. But and what's the yarn? Same yarn. Oh, what is oh yarn? sorry. It's um sorry, it's, it's knit picks, isn't it? It is knit picks. It's swish. Oh yeah. Bulky way swish. swish. Mm -hmm. This is cobblestone heather. Um and I'm actually in the middle of a row, it looks like. I I went ahead, I had to actually try to figure out exactly where I was because it was really confusing based off of uh, where I was at with my knitting and what the pattern said. I finally found where is that. I've attached the pockets. Later on, I will seam them to the back, but I'm not sure if you can tell because I'm still attached. But that the pocket is an inset. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. So it's an inset pocket and be able to, it won't be have a lot of I put a room. Kleenex or something. Yeah, it's it's not I actually was very close to being like this pocket's not gonna exist. <laughs> it's barely a pocket. I don't know how much effort I wanna put into this darn thing. But I finally got the pocket where I want it to be on both sides. Um I think you might be able to put a glove on each side. You know, yeah. The, the one yeah. she wears when her hands start bothering her. And <clears throat> um because the pattern's not particularly well written, I'm not actually sure how much longer I go. I've attached. Um, I like the length of it. Oh, it's, it's, it is a truly lovely sweater. It's just a pain in the proverbial neck. Um, so it looks like I go for, mm, I, I have, you know, a little, a little bit to go. I have, Five inches when I finally hit the ribbing. Um, I probably have about just eyeballing for the sweater. Um, probably about two to three inches in pattern with a cable and stuff before I hit the ribbing. So if that eyeball is correct, that means I have about seven inches before I'm done with the sweater itself, and then I can move over to the sleeves. All right. um, I hate when this happens. But going to sleeves will actually begin to feel like a relief. Oh, I, I, I do have to pick up for the shawl collar. That's a nice collar. It was a, it's, it's, and it's not too big of a shawl collar. It's a shawl collar, but it's not like one of those ones mm -hmm. where it's all the way down the back. Because I have my white one has it all the way down the back. It's a huge shawl collar. This is just a nice little shawl collar. I'm not sure how that white sweater is a nice pattern too. It is. Is that the Jane Richmond, the white one? Mm -hmm. Or is that the yellow one is? But the yellow one is. I don't know who wrote the white one. I don't think it was Jane Richmond. Oh, uh, it's been a long time since I, I like Jane Richards that uh, sweaters. I wish I could knit better because I really like her sweaters. That one has zipper. No, yeah, that one's a zipper too. This is gonna be fun to play around with. Later. Um, and I'm only putting zipper on this like it calls for because I love her. Otherwise, I would not. I don't think she would care if you put buttons on it. Well, I, especially she, if she doesn't know that was supposed to have zipper. She loves the Vivian. Which has a zipper. She always comments how she wishes I would knit the Vivian for her, which I won't do. Well, that was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. Although, there's points where I was like, I think I could have gotten through the Vivian in the amount of time it's taking me to figure out the way this 
patterns written. Because yeah, at least have, Vivian... You don't necessarily have the... Um, brain power. Yeah. yeah. The Vivian, for all the complexity that it has, it's... And the Fisherman's Cardigan, that I forget what the actual pattern's name, but my Fisherman's Cardigan, the white one, that one also had multiple charts per row. This was a very simple um, a c cable chart, but it makes up for it if everything else being... Um, Con unnecessarily complex. I'll take a look at that as soon as I put this down. So yeah, it's just the uh, you got knotted. Yeah, it, well, it's got the both ends of it um, knotted up. So let me put. Yeah, I I was like, if I have any energy, I need to finally work on this thing because um, it'll never get done otherwise. I need to get some of these sweaters right. off the needles. Okay, I'm going to stick this in the bag while she's working on that. So yeah, don't move it too far away from me because you're going to tighten. No, I'm going to move it this way. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. My next one is in my Knitter's Magic blue and white plaid bag. So apparently all the Knitter's Magic bags are coming out. This is a really nice bag. It's not as soft as some of the others, but it's the same person, I think. The same clip, the same nice pockets and stuff. And I did some work on this yesterday while I was watching Danger Man. Uh, with my husband, and that's a show from the 60s. I don't know why I have Super Agent Man in my head. Yeah, so you can see that. I, I think now you can see the contrasting color here, because I've got. Can you see that at the bottom there? It looks like a row of just plain. It, it looks it's, on my screen. It looks like it's the same color. It's on not. the big screen. Yeah, on the, on little the small one, probably one it looks is. a little bit different. So I've moved into. Um, Courtly Love, the color Courtly Love, and uh, there we go. From the um, strawberry, chocolate covered strawberries. So uh, yeah, I, thank you. Yeah. Um, I have made a little bit of progress on this, and now she's made enough progress that you can see that they're two different. Right. I wanted to. I wanted to make sure that I, I made enough progress that you could see. Yeah, yeah. She's she's actually not just talking out of her hat. She's actually changed the color. Mm -hmm. Um, I better make sure that this one is not split because it'll break on you. This is for Talia. So it's usually I'm I'm, lo I'm a lot further, but I have I'm just starting to feel like crafting. So now hopefully things will pick up, and hopefully I'll have time as I cut out things on the computer. Mm -hmm. I will have some Lenten type things I'll be doing that will take up some of that space, but hopefully that'll take up the space I was wasting and not the time that I you know, have given up things that I wasn't necessarily wasting. It's just, I don't need to be doing it. Yeah. So, and so I will have time to craft. I'm hoping to dye the yarn and all that kind of stuff as well as, as time allows. Hopefully that will slow down now that the holidays are over. And we generally have a built-in crafting time while there's some cooking going mm -hmm. on on Thursday, one or the other of us, depending on who's doing the more cooking. Mm -hmm. It's usually when I do my Scrapbook. scrapbooking mm -hmm. if I have an idea right now my scrapbooking has consisted of making cards mm -hmm. but uh, you know that that will change when I finally sit down and just think about what I want to do mm -hmm. so these both of these yarns in this one um, are my yarns chocolate covered cherries and courtly love courtly love came from that uh, ladies favor pattern mm -hmm. kit that we had I don't know four years ago five years ago um, it was quite a while ago yeah. it was more than five years ago I'm not sure if it's that much longer. But the reason why I say that is I wasn't uh, sick yet. You weren't sick at all? I thought you had already had your surgery. No. No. Well, we could just check it. I'm not sure when it is. I'm pretty sure I hadn't had my surgery yet. Okay, well, whatever. That that would be 19. I don't think it was more than 2019, but I don't I don't think it was that late, but it doesn't really matter. You know, it might, it might have been 2020. Yeah. Because that's when I did all the knit patterns. It might have been 2020. I think it was 2020. I think because we were we couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, you, know? you you might be right cuz 2020 was the year where I just exploded mm -hmm. with doing patterns like well, one we, after another after another after another. We were very busy cuz we couldn't go anywhere from um late 1919 19, 19, 19, No, it, it started 2020 because oh, 2020 Lent. 2020 Lent. Yeah. It started 2020 Lent just before Lent started because the la or just I, after Lent I think. It's it was sometime in March cuz late February, early to late February. I can't remember what, sometime in February. I stopped working. Yeah, it was right after you stopped working because we, we went, went to Letton Retreats. Yeah, and we and we took we took your car, sold your car, and the next mm -hmm. week everything was on lockdown. Yeah, so we, it was like the end of February, early March, and um, 
that would have been early 2020 and we were at home all the time from from all of tw all of the rest of 2020 and a good portion of 2021 mm -hmm. so it, you know over a year so we had plenty of time to to be creative <laughs> yeah and it's probably the best i felt for a little while mm -hmm. because i had just had the surgery so um once the pain had eased up i wasn't feeling like i was going to faint all the time mm -hmm. so uh, even though i had other symptoms that's probably why i was able to do as many patterns as i did right because i definitely don't have that productivity now well you need to do your stuff okay so you just showed that okay mm -hmm. um so my next one to show is this one so in my plover bird pigs bag so cute yes this one gets work you know it fits and starts this is my bomber ho bomber's hooded cow the pattern is the thorns hooded cow and it's a free pattern you just look up thorns hooded cow it's a great pattern because it's great it's, pattern. it's like five patterns in one um and sorry, it keeps wanting to fall this is in Miss Babs Yowza, and the colorway is Squash Blossom. Oh, my, I am in the pearl section, so. I need to pull mine back out and finish working on the hood. I think I have two or three rows, and then I start the hood. So then I will have, you know, that Squash Blossom accessory. I think the hood confuses me. The hood, once you get it, it's really simple. Yeah, I mean, because I, I started it. Um, just barely started it mm -hmm. and then I got a little confused and I remember you explaining something to me and then some I don't know if I had to start doing the obligation knitting or what it was I put it aside mm -hmm. and now I have to get geared back up to do it so I can finish it because I like it yeah no if the hood is easier than it probably sounds to begin with I did write on my pattern mm -hmm. at one point just to make sure that I had details for myself and I don't usually write on patterns but other than to like if I have sizes to choose but yeah um, it'll be nice to have this because I do like wearing yellow and uh, this will also go very nicely if I'm wearing a brown outfit. Black too. I like the black yellow combo mm -hmm. so this will be nice. Okay let me just finish my section of stitch here because I don't like to leave it so I don't know where I'm at. You're encroaching on me. I don't mm -hmm. have a bunch of room for my arm. Not in fact. You were working on it. I haven't had a chance to put it away yet, so you're just gonna have to deal. Let me just find something that. No good on. deed goes unpunished. None. All right. Let me see here. Um, stop quoting Tim Curry. Oh, you see, I was thinking of uh, Wicked. Mm -hmm. Tim Curry said it first in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, I'm sure he did. Okay. All right. At least I think that's where it came well, from. Well, I, I think that's an older, an older musical than mm -hmm. uh, Wicked is. Yeah, well, it's been around forever. Not that I ever saw it. No. Don't intend to. Okay, thank you. Um, all right, mine. Just so you know, you're half off screen. I think you moved a little bit when you. Okay, oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. I should have two more. I didn't say it. You should. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Mm. I think that I chose a good time My to show. My tea is gone. I think I chose a good time to show the. Yeah, yeah. Don't say it because she's here. Yeah. In my winter cardinals bag, this is knitting my bag. This was a kit. Uh, I got the cardinals one tie. I got the um, chickadees. Yes. I saw the cutest chickadee mug at Plumbezelix. I think it was. That would have gone perfectly with your bag. Mm -hmm. This is my. Thank you scarf pattern from the Sir Bell scarf pattern by Sarah Sweetheart. And this one, I worked on it a little bit, but that's the one that really started getting caught on my fingers. Mm -hmm. So I stopped. But I did use, I did do a couple of rows. I'm using, this is a DK, but I think it's a lightweight DK. It's a Yarn B Soft and Sleek DK. Hmm. And it's got... It's got 478 yards. Hmm. And it's a DK. So I think maybe it's a light DK. It's four ounces. Usually they're about 3.5. Um, oh, this belongs in this pack. I think the, I forgot what the color was on this. Was, uh, Oxblood. And I tend to like the Oxblood colors, regardless of who has it. Miss Babs, Expression Fiber Arts. I have a couple of Expression Fiber Arts. 
oxblood. I've used hers. Um, so this is, yeah, this is just, it's moving along. It's a very lightweight scarf. I'm hoping that I'll finish it before next Christmas so I can give it to the person who gave me some nice Christmas gifts. If not, it, it'll go to somebody. <laughs> I, w I didn't want to, at first I didn't want to use this particular hook because the handle's not that great. I just had to loosen my grip on it. Otherwise mm. my hands, my hands will uh, seize up on me. You didn't have any of the other kinds free? Mm. No, I couldn't find one of the size I wanted, so. And I thought, yeah, it's an ergomat ergomatic ergonomic er, er, yes that ergonomic yeah. ha handle but it's not quite the way i'm used to them it's not, it's not quite a as, nice soft one yeah it's not it doesn't have quite as much padding to it but mm -hmm. you you can actually see how pretty that pattern is you can see right through it almost yeah just <sighs> that's all i have to say about that okay so let me just do my three middle stitches so i remember that this is the top of the heart so I see, I see, right now my patterns seem to be mostly like <laughs> cerebell related or scrap shawl related. Yeah, I, I've got more blankets than I usually do. Now, that I, was, I say that and now I remember that I had like all these blanket patterns mm -hmm. in progress in 2020. So, you know, that's another thing altogether. Um, but it was kind of amusing for someone who had never ma really made a blanket, mm -hmm. you know, other than the one 10 hours less one. Well, I guess I made one for Mel, too. I made a couple baby blankets um, for specific people. Right. But that was it. Uh, but anyway. Um, next for me to show is... Oh, this one. In my bucket bag... Whoops, this is my Crafting Sheep bucket bag. It is a gift. I believe it was... It's an Erin Lane crafting sheeple bucket bag, and uh, Margaret gave it to me. I thought it was from Margaret, yeah. So it has in here, I haven't uh, used it, but it has a little yarn. Um, guide? Guide, yeah, thank you. So in this is the uh, Joanna Johnson uh, platypus pattern. Okay. I call him Franklin. He has eyeballs. I want to see. Oh, he said eyeballs for a while. Let me bring him out in a second. Now, the original pattern does not have that. They have stitched ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, so her pattern is called Freddy, Freddy Platypus. It comes from one of her kid books. I love her kids' books. Mm -hmm. The artwork's beautiful. Um, so I have Freddy Platypus specifically for this pattern. Um, but I changed his name to Franklin. And he will have his overalls. But currently I am working on his second little arm. Aww. So he he's adorable. has green eyes. He's adorable. Um, his second arm is inside this. Here's his first one. Then he almost I, has teal eyes. No, they're green. They're bright green. Yeah. Um, and I initially considered blue, but I decided to go with the green. Um, he's got... I had to do his two legs and then his tail. I mean, I'll stuff before I'm done with the tail. Um, and right now he looks like a pu puppet. He does. And this will be the blue for his overalls. He's so cute. Um, the yarn is, these are all Lion brand. The blue is Heartland. But the other two are basic stitch, anti-piling, piling, whatever. Um, one colorway for that is, where are you? Oh, here it is. Um, taupe Heather, so that's this color here. Mm -hmm. And then there is uh, gold, gold Heather. Well, that one's obvious. And then this one is... A denim or something. <laughs> so, yeah, Olympic. Not? Olympic. So, <clears throat> yes. I just felt like working on him, and thankfully it wasn't too complex where I was at, so I was just able to get a little bit of work, because he's been staring at me from the bag. Um, now I have a half-made bunny that's incredibly jealous because he was started long before the platypus was. Um, and I think he has like, he's missing a limb because I was waiting for yarn to come in. And when his yarn came in, I barely worked on him. He's also knit flat, so he doesn't grow quite as quickly. Unlike with, uh, Franklin here, you know, once I pick up the stitches, then it just, you know, it's attached. But yeah, he sits looking at me from the bucket bag with these big eyes. 
And I think I like the choice of the slight modification where I chose to put the eyes in versus stitch them. Mm -hmm. Because hers are made, this is from a book that, you know, you're giving the thing to children. So it made sense why she had the stitched eyes. But since it was going to my mom, and I'm pretty sure she's not going to put it in her mouth, yeah. um, I figured you'd be safe. Okay, so let me put this here. Um, my last... Why do I have two different... Oh, right, okay. Um, <laughs> my last project <laughs> is in my Knitter's My Bag Winter Cardinals... I already did that one. Uh, in my chronically crocheting bag that Crystal gave me. She made it and she gave it to me. Um, that's the greatest bag. Perfect size. So this is chronically crochet. And I've got Taya squash blossom shawl. Now right now I can show it to you. It may change enough to become a design, but I'm not sure, but right now I can show it to you. Right now it's just the same as a scrap shawl. So this is her squash blossom and she really likes this color. Yes. And that's where I'm at. This is uh, Yowza. Mm -hmm. And you talked about adding another color? Yeah, I'm there. thinking about adding my Memento Mori color, but mm -hmm. I will talk to Taya when I get to that point and see if she still wants that or not. And we'll go from there. Right. And so this I, this is a nice one. I, I had to start this, I think partially because people were talking to me when I was starting it and I was tired. And so for some reason I kept getting off count. I'm like, well, that doesn't sound right. I know I've done this 50,000 <laughs> times. And I finally figured out what it was once people stopped talking at me. Um, <laughs> Amazing how that works. Yeah. It was just like, okay, that's... Now I don't have to look at the pattern. I just need to look at the pattern when I'm starting it. Cause I, right. You know, that's... that's um, so I make sure I get the uh, the right division on the on the spacings and all that kind of stuff for the for the spines. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is this is moving along pretty fast. I just I just started this not you know two or three days ago, and uh, just kind of that's where I'm at. Okay. So I made sure I got the those. All right, my final one to show. Uh, I actually had a different form of this in here. I ripped it out because A, I wanted the needles in the pattern, and then B, I wasn't quite sure I wanted it in that pattern. I wasn't so committed to it that, or I didn't, wasn't sure I wanted that pattern, that yarn. I wasn't so committed to it that it hurt me to yank it out. Mm -hmm. So I had this in Barnum, but mom's been wanting a silver pair of mitts. I think this is mom's silver, and I think I have enough for both mitts. Um, so I wanted to go with my shawl this has been started this is my um fun mitts I chose this one because it probably requires the least amount of yarn and uh just because it doesn't have all this fancy cabling and stuff it really is just like a bunch of seed stitch and it's also so it makes it stretchy too which is great um but yeah just working some on that this is nice for just simple you know doing whatever knitting right just kind of not really paying attention mm -hmm. so my pattern most likely mom's yarn mm -hmm. don't still have the ball probably pants, so. my silver bells or i think this is from Davina. it's probably silver bells because i think that's what you dyed up for Davina's christmas stocking this thing has blue to it okay well, may maybe you're, um this might be a winter warlock or something I don't know. I know you you dyed it up for. Um, this isn't too. This is too blue to be silver bells. I'm pretty sure that it was um, dyed up for the Christmas stocking, mm -hmm. and I probably was just like I don't care. Just make it look great. It might be the yeah. I'd have to check and see. Mm -hmm. I don't have the label. Yeah. So. All right. Well, let me just cross the bridge for this stitch, and then I can go ahead and. I think we're done with projects. We are. That leads on to FOs because I don't have any um, journal and I don't have any FO. I don't have any journal either. Um, but at my FO, <laughs> I told my husband, yeah, I'm going to make this up. He kind of laughed at me. That's a little cheating a little bit, but what exactly was something that needed to be the ends woven in? And you guys haven't seen it for like 50,000 years. Uh, but the ends were woven in, so they're finished now. <laughs> And what it was was I was I had started a while back. Um, I'm not even sure how far back when I was on that big block kit kick. Um, I made. I wanted to make my mom the one we all knew that she wasn't going to make a blanket out of. Oh, excuse me. Um, 
I was going to make my my mom a set of washcloths, which she is going to get, mm -hmm. but I'm going to keep two of them because they don't really go necessarily. Um, so these, they're all finished now. They're just basic granny squares. I got this one, which is different. That one probably go to my mom as well as these. So she'll have that. Now I could potentially send her these as well, maybe one of them uh, like this. I'm not, I don't know if she has uh, oh, blue yeah. in her, in her place or not. So anyway, these might be mine. These are going to my mom. Uh, she doesn't know it, but they are. And that's my finished object. And it's in my Cloverbird teapot's bag. Right. Take care of that. Okay, so that then leads to stash enhancement. Yeah, I'll go first because it's your birthday. Okay. Uh, take a drink of tea. And mine is basically all one thing. Yeah, because um, most of what's in that box there is stuff that you showed last time. No. Really? No. Just the Mother and Jell Oh, okay. Um, we have lovely people over at Adagio, and I must have sent Shelly something because she had my address. This was actually, this is for both of us. Yes. Um, well, before I show, no, we'll show this. Okay. Um, she sent us a lot of times when on Adagio, what people will do is they'll gift you something. And when you buy something that gift will come to you free. And it gives you a sample size. A, a sample size. It let, yeah. Now, this person, you could also buy something, like mm -hmm. buy a, a, a larger one and have Adagio mail it so your address doesn't get sent to somebody that you don't want it to go to. Yeah. You don't want your address available. This person, and this has happened on occasions, maybe you've, maybe you've exchanged cards or you've, maybe it's, they've used your shop or something, and you have an address and sometimes they'll send you stuff. So Shelly sent us a gift, one for Talia and one for myself. Um, she just sent us a whole bunch of tea. And, yeah. And we split it up. Where's yours? We put them all in the box. Okay, you're spending mine? Mind? Yeah, because my, mine's in the zip. Okay. She sent us, um, here's the card, um, the, the card itself. She, I, I opened it so I wouldn't ruin the um, little seal on it. That's what it looks like. Very apropos and cute. Mm -hmm. um, and then we split up the teas. I took, well, first of all, she, we each had a holy card. Here's mine, Guardian Angel. I'll show mine to you. And she, I have cream which I will probably use in blending. Um, chamomile, again, I might use in blending. Or I might drink it straight. Apricot, which I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I don't think I've had apricot yet, so that'll be fun. Cherry matzapan oolong, which is interesting. If I don't like it, I'll give it to Talia because cherry, Yeah. I find a lot of times cherry in teas, not just adagios, and teas in general can tend to be medicinal, like sucrets. So we'll see how that works. Um, and then Formosa Oolong, which I really like. So those are the ones I took. And for me, um, I guess I should say that not all of these are Adagio. You know, yeah, no. So, like, a couple of these are dated to me. Um, I have Nepal Black, uh, the Noir du Nepal. Yes, that's just the French. Yeah. And then, okay, I don't know why they have the French uh, translation on each of them. And then this one is David's Breakfast Blend. Mm -hmm. So, there are those two. Um, I have the mother and child um, holy card. Mom does the whole, why don't you pick one? And I pick one. She's like, that's the one I wanted. And I didn't say, like, why did you pick one? I said, which one did you like? Well, she, get, she does it in this way where she doesn't want to be the one to choose. And then when you choose, but anyway, um, I got the black cherry, 
We kind of divvied it up with the, okay, this black tea, mom can't have it. Summer Rose, I know I have some of this. And then I was so excited about yeah, I this. I gave her that one. I, said, I saw it, I said, take it. Because so. I actually am out of my Irish stout. And it's hard to get it. Mm -hmm. You can only get it in March. Mm -hmm. I'll pick one up in March for myself. They used to have it where you can get it in points more mm -hmm. often. Um, but that kind of stopped. And uh, I figure Taya made me a cup or let me taste it. And I, I didn't think I was going to like it. And I liked it. If I pick it up and I find that I don't really care for it as much as I thought, then she'll just get it. Mm -hmm. So it's not like we'll waste money on it. No, no. So, yes, this is very nice. I need to actually um, write down her name or something so I remember to say Shelly. Well, I'm not going to remember from here to um, there. The Kentucky bourbon is the one that I was surprised about. Too that one was really I when you made it for me I, I didn't I didn't have I didn't make you the bourbon I didn't like the bourbon okay I, I, I thought I tasted that one for you too no no I had it once through um, either the, the Christmas UCT, one UCT, yeah and I did I, not finish it I didn't even bother I gave mine to Laura and Laura and um, uh, they love that. Yeah, I sent them. I sent them one for Christmas a, uh, a couple of years ago, a full. And then they had to get another one. No, uh, I think so because he was drinking hers. Well, I, that's when I gave her the other one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, very happy to get this. No, I, I didn't. Uh, you know, you wouldn't have tried the bourbon with me because I didn't, didn't like it. Well, I have whatever it is. I have it on my list. So, mm -hmm. um, okay, I have my last couple. Might have been the Irish Stout. Because you did like it when I made That's it. That's what I was saying, yeah. Um, the other things here, Taya got me um, two more bookmarks. She keeps saying, this was supposed to be for birthday. I'm not going to have any gifts for my birthday. Because oh, no, I have gifts for her birthday. But Honestly, what it, the birthday is just an excuse. I pick up bookmarks because I want a bookmark, and I see something that looks like something she'd like, and then the bookmarks are going to be always on sale. My favorite little ghost. <laughs> um, that came with one of the bookmarks. Yeah. This, okay, she got me... I'll give you a chance to say who it is. Shout so I can hear you. All you literary people out there. That's Anne of Green Gables. And then this one is for the movie people. I love this actor and I think he's amazing. Even though I don't probably agree with him on a lot of things. This is Indiana Jones. Well, he is from Holly Weird. Yeah. Indiana Jones. He's got writing on the back of his head. Um... Uh -huh. And then this one is so cute. Has my favorite things. Hers are bunnies and mm -hmm. hearts. Mine are owls and hearts. I, can you see? I don't know if you can see the heart because of the glare, but this yes, heart it, on his tummy. Yeah. Um, I really like these leather ones. They, they're really well made. And then I ordered Lent is coming up. You know the penance period for Christians before Easter. And I wasn't going to get, because I already got something for Lent. And I thought, you know what, this is really short. And since it's the Gospels, it'll probably just reiterate what the Blessed Is She stuff anyway. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and picked one up for me and for Talia. And it's the Gospel, Lenten Gospel Reflections. And this is by Bishop Barron. And I forgot to bring it with me because it's actually on my desk. Mm -hmm. um, so I knew where it was at when Lent started. And it's it's got... A reading and a little reflection by Bishop Barron and a place where you can journal. And I probably will journal in this because it's very much year specific, March yeah. 7, 2024. I probably will write in this. And I'm kind of looking forward to this. Journaling helps me a lot in terms of this kind of thing. Oh, it's got prayers in the back. Oh, yay. Um, I like prayers in the back. Oh, it's got, oh, it's got the stations in the back. Oh, okay. Uh, and then it's got yeah, these are all the stations. It's got really pretty pictures for them. So we can, they're, not, they're black and white pictures, but they're very pretty. So you can see um, pictures. Yeah, that, that's what I thought were prayers were all the stations. But that's kind of nice. I mean, technically stations are prayers. No, but I meant, I thought like Our Father's Hail Mary is just that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But this is, this is fun. Okay. Your turn. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. I wasn't quite sure if you had anything else to show. No, no, no I haven't done. Okay, so, um, for my birthday stuff, um, 
Well, my big present was Dad had lent me his paper white when he got a new one and I ended up using it a lot and he wanted his old paper white back because he liked the size of it. He kept trying to be like, you don't use it, do you? I'm like, I actually do. So he got me a new one for myself um, and I have the Starry Nights cover to it. So yeah, I am enjoying my paper white. It's a little bigger than my other one, but it's a good size. Um, you couldn't fit the new ones in his pocket like yeah. he wanted to. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, enjoying that. Then So that was my big gift. Then uh, Davina got me um, some Miss Babs. And it is, they're Yowza min Minis. Which means they're about half a skein. Yeah. Of the um, Yowza, so. It's exactly, let me see if it tells me exactly what okay it's got 200 yards so this is a these are wild irises these two are that you've got christy and you've got alcott so those are the author from the authors i love this brown mm -hmm. this is absolutely gorgeous a nice rich brown well, all three colors are gorgeous but then this is cobalt and um this one is actually not a uh yeah they iris the, we we and we had and it's not author either we had um I sat there with Davina and they had a whole bunch of authors, but they didn't have another yarn that I thought would work. Mm -hmm. So, or a, an author that even was, oh yeah, maybe she would want that. And so I was looking for like Austin or something, but. But this is great. Um, I can use them together if I want, mm -hmm. or I could just use them separately. So. Very autumnal. Yes. And, but that's well right within my color scheme, which is great. So yeah. Um, and it came with a, little uh bit of a worsted weight big silk which is 60 percent merino 40 percent silk and this is gotta love me and i have knit things that i've gotta love me before very pretty that's what my um my red uh thorns hood cow is made out of my uh balins i think i used that for something too i'm not sure what it was um I'm not sure what you used it for but the last part is unless I just kept hearing you say gotta love me that's what I thought it was this last part is um, dad got me some more ink for my calligraphy some colored ink um, and it has a stopper on it so that way I can more e easily uh, put it into my um, calligraphy pen and I'm not going to pull it out I'll just read the um, colors and it's not wanting to come out. So this is um so down the side. Hold on. This is blue. And I have black already. Um this is gold. These are very nice colors if I especially if I want to imitate calligraphy. Not calligraphy, an illuminate manuscript thing. This is turquoise. This is red, and this is black. So I have a nice amount of colors to uh, go with. I have to finish my entry for the um, Charlotte Bronte book. I'm going to do the calligraphy on a different page and then paste it so if the um, pen leaks it won't be an issue. But I wanted to use red at least for the first letter. So. Yes, now I have my ink to do that. Because it, you do definitely get a different feel when you're doing a true calligraphy pen mm -hmm. than when you're doing one of my, more of my marker type ones. So yeah, whoopsie. That's it. Okay, well I think that's it for that. We don't know about, about what else we're cooking. We've mentioned that we still have to pick that. So the mm -hmm. only thing you know about for sure is the chicken and we're taking the uh, quiche out of the freezer. Now today is the 24th, which means Friday is the last Friday of the month. So if you are a patron, we will be having a Zoom mm -hmm. on Friday. The 30, what is it? What's this Friday? It's uh, two days from now. So 26. 26. So it's the 26th, Friday. Yeah, don't make this month go away sooner than it has it's to. It's already going away faster than I don't know where January has gone. Um, so yeah so we're having a zoom this month um hopefully we won't have any changes mm -hmm. so we'll be looking forward to seeing all the patreons there um 
before, I don't know if we have any live stuff, but before we do that, I know people don't like to hear it regardless sometimes. So uh, we want to thank the people who commented either on YouTube or on PHN. We always like uh, hearing from you. I did manage to get to everybody on YouTube that I saw by this morning. Uh, so we have, uh, if not, I still we still appreciate your comments. I just didn't see them. So yeah. uh, we're thankful to Wendy and Looney Hiker and Paula and Kara and Christina and Allison uh, and anyone else who may have commented since I saw you. Thank you very much for your comments. And... Um, we appreciate every single one of them, even if we don't always get a chance to respond. I didn't see any comments on PHN before I left. That doesn't mean there wasn't one. Right. So whoever it is that may have answered on PHN, thank you. for the. Um, I think this one, somebody's waiting for a response from me from um, private messages over at PHN. I'll try to get to those as soon as I can. And uh, that's thank you very, very much. Now, do you have any life stuff or... No, not really, because, I mean, people know that we've been sick, mm -hmm. um, or y'all have been sick. I've just been fatigued. Y'all, y'all. My sleep schedule's been way thrown off, so. Yeah, it's been an interesting few days, and I'm starting to wind down, so, and it's getting toward lunch, so we're going to wish you all a very wonderful day and week full of knitting, crocheting, crafting, whatever it is that makes your heart happy. We hope to see you here again next week for the fun in the woman cave until then this is the pen hook and needles podcast episode 586 bring it in bring it in there you go no and that's a wrap bye <laughs>